Eager to know about all of the new features in the iOS 18 settings app? This guide has got you covered. At first glance, when you open the settings app, it seems that nothing is unchanged, but Apple has redesigned the settings app to make things a lot easier to find and a lot more organized. So we're gonna start off with iCloud. Here, if you have an iCloud Plus subscription, this page is going to be brand new to you. It's going to show how much storage you have in your plan, the recommended actions for you to take. And what I really love is that now it has this section called Save to iCloud, and it shows you the combined sizes of all of the files you have within a app. You can also see when was the last time an iCloud backup was made. There is also a section for iCloud Plus features. So if you are a new iCloud Plus subscriber, this particular section is going to tell you exactly what is in your plan. The privacy and security page also got a nice redesign as well. It makes things a lot easier to digest, which is the theme of the settings app in iOS 18. And as you can see, for location services, you have 30 items here. And if we just go in, then we can see a little bit more information. This page here is very similar to what we already have in iOS 17. In addition, with all of the data that your apps have access to, you can see not only how many apps have access to that particular piece of data, but you can also see the permissions as well. So for example, with the calendars app, I have seven items and they only have the ability to add events to the calendar. We scroll down further, then this section here is actually goes into detail about how many apps have access to Bluetooth, how many apps have access to camera, your local network, microphone, etc. Finally, we come to the app screen. So if you notice that we scroll all the way down to settings and there is a new section called apps. If you tap on that, this lists all of the apps you have installed. And from here, you'll be able to do all of the same things you were able to do on iOS 17 and prior. And if we tap on Amazon, for example, we can see what Amazon has access to, biometric information. And what's really nice about this particular section is that now you can search for apps and in addition, you have the letters on the right-hand side of the screen, and you can just swipe down in order to find a particular app that way. But the search function actually makes things a lot easier. If you found this video helpful, do all of the YouTube things. Remember, all engagement is good engagement. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Take care.